It is an outright lie, an outright lie by the President of the United States that they were given $150 billion. They were not. And the money that they did receive was their money because they sued the United States of America and won in court and were being paid interest. So American citizens were paying interest every single day that was accruing more and more billions of dollars that were going to go to Iran. We cut that short. We negotiated a deal that greatly reduced the amount of money that they were, in fact, supposed to receive under court order, and they would have received it eventually. And we transferred that to them, most of which they owed to other countries and other people in a massive debt that Iran had accrued. So the fact is that he has lied about that. And also, the budget of the IRGC was well taken care of by Iranians, by the regime, which we didn't like. Nobody likes what they've been doing in the region. And even during our negotiations on this agreement, we raised sanctions against Iran, sanctions on human rights, sanctions for its transfer of weapons to Yemen, sanctions for its support of Hezbollah, sanctions for its behavior and its missile program. We raised those sanctions and we constantly said to people, the first challenge is take the nuclear weapon off the table and then you have an ability to be able to negotiate with Iran on all of the other issues that concern all of us. There's no one who has ever turned a blind eye to Iran's behavior in the region. But there's a better way to go at it. And the best way to go at it is with the ability to have France, Germany, Britain, China, Russia, all on our side, holding Iran accountable for that behavior and using the United Nations National Security Council, the Security Council, to be able to hold them accountable. Now this president has isolated the United States of America. The president has gotten Iraq parliament to vote that we have to leave Iraq. The president has actually opened the door for people to question our credibility and our capacity in the region. The United States has been weakened by the steps this president has taken in a, in a sort of shotgun, impulsive, reckless way without a process that involves State Department, military, all of the people who are part of a, a very significant process of evaluating uh, these kinds of decisions. And moreover, the president stood beside Putin in Helsinki and threw the entire intelligence community of our nation under the bus and chose to believe Putin over our own intelligence community. So there are people reeling all over the world, wondering about the steadiness and capacity of the president of the United States and this administration. And we are not safer because this president has been willing to personally just invoke his anti-Obamaism to such a degree that he's run the risk of war. That, that, that response by Iran could have been significantly different. And it is not right for the President of the United States to put the United States in a position where we are dependent on a regime that we don't like to somehow behave in a way that saves this President from himself. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from The Last Word and the rest of MSNBC.